Now brace yourself, we're going into something quite deep and disturbing. So if you remember the fight against the Okada ban in Lagos, Nigeria, then you'd know that the owner of Gokada, Sahim Fale, was very, very much behind this. Um, and he, like, he was very big on, on the fight against right. the Okada ban. Hey guys, if you don't already know me, I'm Fahim Saleh, the CEO of Gokada um, with the motorcycle transport ban in Lagos, but I've been trying to process it and, and figure out how I exactly want to uh, speak on the topic. It's, it's a country that I, I feel has amazing potential and has amazing people, and they just need the opportunity to shine. And the drivers that were at Gokata, every one of them wasn't there because they just wanted to make money. They were there because they had families. They had children, they had dreams. It was such a big thing to hear him so vocal about it and so young as well. Everyone right, had, and not know. Nigeria, but fighting for his employees here on our yeah. soil. Very yeah, awesome. so a uh, tech guru and just an absolute great guy all around. And recently he was found in his luxury apartment in Manhattan, New York, dismembered. It's quite crazy. Very and, gruesome and details. Gruesome, yeah. If you guys check out the reports, it says things like he was beheaded, his limbs were removed. Not only that, but the chainsaw that was used in yeah. this incident was found there. His sister allegedly was looking for him for a few days and went to his apartment and she was the one who saw her brother's torso, I mean, I mean, upper how... body only. It just seems Boy. like such a gruesome death. Yeah. Seems like one of those contract cartel type of murders. If you yeah. watch Netflix like we all do, normal murders are crimes of passion or accidents yeah. or you know, actual you know, attacks, but with them beheading him, it was like delivering a message almost. Like what, yeah, I was well thought out. Well, like what, could, him dead. What, what could possibly have led to this? Like, well, what? there's been so much speculation. You know, I like to read comments when I look at social media. Yeah. Some people were saying that during the whole Gokata business, he collected a lot of investments from people, collected a lot of money. And then because Nigeria now banned it and the lockdown started and the pandemic started, he wasn't able to make enough funds to repay mm. the millions he borrowed to start the company up. Yeah. Those are all speculations, by the way, but we just like to give you guys all of the news. Yeah, I mean, to be but honest, either way, I, I, I get it. But then I've, I've always been one to think if someone is owing you money, there's legal ways to get your Killing money Killing him back. doesn't get it back any faster. Yeah. I don't want any reason to kill anybody. At all, and at all. Not just a regular way you have to dismember his body. I think that's... I mean, there's no regular way to kill well. anybody, man. Like, shooting someone in the head is not better than... It's gruesome all around. Okay, yes, <laughs> dismembering them. It's just... Oh. just 